Twin Cities Adventures here, and in today's video, we're gonna go on a hunt for uranium glass. Now, some of you are wondering, what is uranium glass? Well, I'm gonna break it down into three categories, first of all. So, one, you have depression glass. Two, you have uranium glass. And three, you have Vaseline glass. So let's go over each of those so you know what the differences are. Okay, first up we have a collection of some multicolored depression glass and a lot of this was commonly made between 1929 and 1939 and it was very affordable glassware during the Great Depression and the colors are just beautiful. So some of the most uh, popular or common colors that I see when I'm out antiquing is green depression glass like these pictures this is probably my favorite color i see a lot of pink when i'm out and about yellow is another common color and here is an example of some blue depression glass next up we have uranium glass which was popular from about 1820 all the way up into 1940 when the u.s government Hold it to do nuclear testing. And you know what happened as a result from that. Uranium glass has been tested and it turns out that it has the same amount of uranium as your common root vegetables like potatoes, carrots, or any other thing that is grown under the soil. So it is totally safe to eat off of uranium glass plates. And now we have Vaseline glass, which started production around 1830. And now Vaseline glass refers to more of a yellow green chartreuse colored glass. And it got its name because it actually looked like Vaseline back in the day. Here are some comparison pictures with antique Vaseline next to antique Vaseline glass. You can see where people made the connection between the two. Okay, now that you've seen the differences between those three categories, um, not all depression glass is uranium glass. So the ones that glow under a black light are Vaseline glass and most normal green depression glass. So now let's go out to some local antique stores and go on the hunt. Okay, so we pull out our handy dandy black light flashlight and shine it on green depression glass or if we see any Vaseline glass and it will always light up. It glows from the uranium in it. Now, if you're going out hunting for uranium glass, you need one of these handheld black light flashlights. And this is the perfect one because it's small enough to fit in your pocket and it has a wide spectrum lens. You need that. It only takes three AA batteries. And I'll add a link to this black light flashlight below the video so you can click on that and purchase one if you want. They're only about 12 bucks. It's a must have for any antiquer. Back in the antique store, we'll just do a walkthrough and I'll show you all of the things that we found that light up from the uranium. And this only works with if you have a black light, so it's kind of a must have. Here's a cake plate over here. It's kind of nice. Here's a bunch of plates. Boy, they really light up. And this is a refrigerator dish that I purchased for my own collection. Here's some drinking glasses, wine glasses. Light up. Here's a either a straw container or a barbershop comb container. Orange press, lemon press, grapefruit press. You can see that the colors are really pretty without the black light. Here's a flower frog. I bought that for my own collection. That is really cool. It's for 
putting flowers in, cut flowers. I love these big jugs. I'm thinking about purchasing a couple of these, but I just don't know where I'd put them. Take up a lot of counter space, but I really, I wouldn't be surprised if I went back and I picked up a couple of those eventually. Here's some salt and pepper shakers that light up. Tea and sugar containers. Here's another depression glass, a pink depression glass flower frog. See, it does not light up under black light though because there's no uranium in that color. Another piece that doesn't light up. Those, there's some drinking glasses. I've been kind of keeping my eye out for those. I'm gonna have to go back and take a closer look at those drinking glasses sometime. These have a lot of uranium. They really light up, tea and sugar. Here's a water pitcher, iced tea pitcher, whatever you want to put in it. It's pretty neat. The next piece, I really, really want this piece too. It's a four cup measuring cup, so you could use that to do all of your cooking and measuring in. I really like that. I think I'm going to have to go back and visit that one at the store. Here's a really neat bowl that lights up. And then again, here's another one of these containers. I wonder what you could put in there. All kinds of things. That could be your cookie jar, antique cookie jar. You can't go wrong with that. Here's a flower vase that lights up. Over here, we've got a couple more. See, this is a cream and sugar dispenser. They light up. Not all things light up though, unless they have uranium in. See, this piece does not have uranium, it does not light up, it's just normal glass. You can have ice cream out of these. Serving dishes. Pink one doesn't light up. Here's a pretty green one that lights up. Serving bowl. Some more dessert goblets here. Here's uh, another creamer, sugar container, or whatever you want to put in there. And over here, these are really cool antique kitchen uh, implements here with uranium glass containers. Really get a kick out of those. Peek back into history. Here's a tea set. I feel like a small cup of tea. Back in the day, they didn't drink much. Here's a tidbit tray for sandwiches and hors d'oeuvres. And this is a pitcher that I bought for my own collection. Got that one from Antiques on Main Street in Hopkins, Minnesota. That is my new favorite pitcher. I have lemonade in that in the refrigerator as we speak. And yes, it does taste better. Here's a bunch of plates. I might have to go back and visit this section here and pick up some plates. I really like those. Candlestick holders. And here's a butter dish. So butter dish to uh, put that in the fridge or keep it on the countertop. That is really cool. I like that Art Deco look. Here's just a butter dish top we found. No bottom with that. So it's kind of tough when you find just pieces might hunt for a long time to find the other piece. Here's another. Okay, so this is a measuring cup thing here, and then a peeler, or orange thing, and then here's another small measuring cup. I really like this, and I might go back and look at that too. That is really cool. Okay, now I'm back home, and here's my picture I bought. And I'm in a dark room, and I just lit that up with a, a black light flashlight underneath it, and look at that glow. It's just, it's unbelievable. That's the flashlight that I have a link for below the video, the black light flashlight. And then here's the refrigerator dish that I bought, and a couple of bowls and plates that I bought also. Well, that was fun, so I hope you learned something, and happy hunting. Twin Cities Adventures, out.